Uh, an exciting one, you know, it's semi-final of the playoffs, winner goes all the way to the championship game, so stakes are high and obviously we want to be the team that is on that flight to Kansas um, at the end of the game and so we expect two teams going after it, um, obviously we've played them two times in the regular season, been really competitive games and we expect nothing different going into this game. Yeah, I, I think going back to the first game, um, you know, both teams were unbeaten. Uh, it was exciting. There's a lot of hype around that game. And then the second game, I think Kansas have, have changed their whole style since they since they played us. You know, they're very much more reserved. They they're not really a team that high presses anymore. They're they're a team that is trying not to give much away uh, and and hurt teams in counter attacking moments. And so we're fully aware of that. We've We've experienced experienced enough in in that um, all season long, and so yeah, it's uh, we got to be mindful of the dangerous players. They've got a lot of great players on their team, as do we as well, and so it should uh, match up really well. Uh, it, it does and it doesn't. I think yeah, Swanson and Chwinger are completely two different players. Obviously, they're both great players. But I feel Chewinga has a little bit more uh, pace than uh, than Swanson, and so we have to respect that. We have to be switched on and and being proactive a lot more. I think Kansas are probably more direct than Chicago as well. There's times where they just kick the ball into uh, into a space and and ask their players to run after it, and so. It's a little bit more unpredictable than a than a Chicago team, but I thought we were tremendous against uh, Chicago. We started the game really well. We you know created opportunities within the first two minutes. We continued that on throughout the the first half and fully deserved our three goals. Um, you know, defensively we were solid. Um, we hurt Chicago in counter attacking moments. You know, it's pleasing to see Barbara get on the score sheet again. And um, yeah, just just I think we won the game in the first half, and you know we just wanted to maintain that high standard, that high level of football throughout the game. And considering it was a quarter final game and the stakes were high, I thought they managed it really well. Yeah, it's vitally important, you know, the home field advantage. Um, it doesn't matter if if you don't have the fans backing you and, and behind you and. Last game, the fans were in full voice. You know, they were spurring the players on, um, and that's really important. We're hoping, obviously, to to get more fans, considering it's a semi-final. And you know, if if we win, we go all the way to the final. And so, the fans play such an important part in our success, and they have done all season long. It's no coincidence that we've won so many games at home this year, and that's due to the fact that we've had fans coming out and supporting us and you can see attendance is getting higher you know the product on the field is uh, has been incredible um and again we're the only team to have an unbeaten record at home and so i think the players fully deserve more fans to come out and support this incredible run and hopefully we we've got one more game to get it over the line and and go all the way to the championship game i think it i think it depends on where the game's at um and how we're feeling, and and you know the the stage of the game to make those decisions. Um, and we've done that all season long. We've gone into every game wanting to win, um, and it'll be no different into this game. We don't we don't necessarily want to go to uh, extra time and penalties. Um, we want to get the job done within the ninety minutes, and so it'll be no different um, in this game. Uh, yeah, you said it already. Like we take it one game at a time. We we got to do this job firsthand, um, and so our, our main focus uh, this week is solely on Kansas. You know, getting a result against a, can a good Kansas City team, um, and so yeah, 
whatever happens and and hopefully we do get the outcome that we've always uh, aspired to do um we'll be on that flight to Kansas City in the championship game but yeah it's been no different our our lead up to this game has been no different that we've done all all season long and so yeah we're just excited it's a it's a monumental uh moment for the club and the players um because they fully deserve it and yeah, we just we're just ready to go because it has been a long uh, long wait um, for this moment. You know, since we 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 clinched um, the number one spot and won the shield, we've been waiting for these playoffs to come, and you know we we can't wait to get going on on Sunday. Uh, yeah, I mean that's a that's a their own incentive, right? They they want to win this game so they can. Um, have that home field advantage in the championship game. We we're fully aware of that. We expected that, but. Again, this is this is a semi-final game um, that both teams want to win, and and so we want to win it as much as they do. Um, again, we've been so consistent at home, and we want to uh, maintain that high level, that high standard of our home games. Um, and so, yeah, it's going to be a competitive game. It's uh, whoever wins goes to the final, and so there's not a bigger incentive than that um, at the end of the game. Yeah, I mentioned it before. You know, they they're so important to the the team, and obviously hosting um, this semi final um, is really helpful. You know, it, it doesn't count uh, having home field advantage if you don't have the supporters backing you. And our fans have been brilliant all season long. You can see the the diehards that have been here through the dark times and uh, in previous years and we're we're starting to reward them with some really good bright times as well and so we need more supporters to come out and support this team and and spur them on to bigger and greater things and it's a fantastic opportunity this Sunday to to again make history within this club and and you know lift another trophy here in Orlando. So we're just excited. You know, the fans are excited. The community is excited. Um, obviously, Orlando City don't have a game this weekend also. So hopefully we can get some more fans here at the stadium and, and support this uh, incredible team. We're excited. Um, I think Kansas has become a bit of a rivalry for us. Um, obviously, a really good team, really tough opponent. Um, but we're up for the challenge. Um, I think we're expecting it to be a little similar the last time we played against them. Just kind of sit, they'll sit in a low block, mid block, and uh, play for the counter. So uh, we got to take advantage of our moments. Had an, had an incredible season. Um, we know their game plan. Um, they rely a lot on her. Um, they do have other really talented players, but we know every single time that's what they want to do. When they get the ball, they're looking for a ball over the top. Um, our defense has been a really strong point for us this year, our team defending overall. Um, so we know what we have to do um, to eliminate those balls in behind, get pressure on the ball, and um, yeah, just keep her under control. Always know where she is at all times. Glad. That gives us confidence for sure. And. You know, I think it's just something we have to do. We've we've done it all year. We've defended all year. Every single team in this or in this in this league has dangerous players, um, and Temu Chewing is no different. So um, we just got to stick to our principles. Keep doing what we've been doing all year. It's everything. Uh, Inter and Co Stadium has become a fortress for us. Uh, the fans have really shown out this year, um, and it's been so fun to play in, and it's such a huge advantage. Um, we've talked about it. You know, we may never get this opportunity again as a home semifinal game, so we have to take advantage of it, and our, our supporters are going to be massive for us. That momentum back uh, was really important for us. Um, you know, there's been a lot of talk, you know, after we won the Shield and we lost two games in a row, people were, oh, is Orlando Pride going to be okay? Um, we were never in doubt. Um, and I hope that that game sent a, a message to everybody that we're, we're here to stay. I, I think motivation is extremely high for both teams. There's so much at stake. Um, so it's absolutely going to be a battle. And I think, like you said, it is going to come down to the fine margins, the, the small details. Um, you know, that's tournament football. Um, it can be one play. It can be one mistake. You hope it never comes down to that. Um, but we have to just be locked in for 90 minutes, 120 minutes, whatever it takes. Um, and, and we're ready for that. We're prepared for, for anything. Yeah, every, every time we're, we're ready to play them, it does feel like there is a different uh, 
sense a different vibe in in the locker room and extra motivation and extra focus um for whatever reason i mean i think it's just you know credit to to both teams credit to them um they're such a quality opponent um that we have to be locked in um so it's it's gonna be fun um i think both games uh both times we've played them there's been a bit of drama so um i'm sure this game will be (laughs) nothing less of that yeah for sure um i mean no like chicago is a great team um and i i think we played a really good game it's not that you know chicago chicago is a very quality team and they have mouse wands and they might play similar to kansas city you know like they are really good defensively really organized and then you know always looking for her and dangerous on the counter attack so um i think for us you know it's, it's playing the game and not the moment obviously this is a really big moment for us um but at the same time we can't get caught up in in the moment we have to remember what we've done all year uh we've done incredible things and have gotten rewarded for it so if we just keep doing those same things i think we're gonna have some good results